Let's take a look at tally charts. Now, first of all, how do you use a tally chart? I imagine you are the teacher of a class and you are asking the students what they wanted for lunch and they've got a choice of pizza, chicken and chips, vegetable lasagna. What you do is you go around the class asking them individually what they would like for lunch and you just make a note in each um, column or in each row using a tally mark. So if you go up to the first child and that first person says they want vegetable lasagna, mark next to vegetable lasagna. Child number two might want chicken and chips, mark for chicken and chips. Maybe child number three also wants chicken and chips. So there's a second mark for chicken and chips. However, if you keep going through the class and they keep telling you chicken and chips and we're noting down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chicken and chips, that's quite difficult for us to add up at the end. So what we do is we put them in bunches of five. So if the next student you ask wants chicken and chips and the student after that also wants chicken and chips and the next one also wants chicken and chips. Now, this one will complete a group of five. So rather than doing another vertical strike, we do a diagonal one to bunch it into five. So you go around the class and maybe at the end of it, your tally chart looks something like this. And it makes it much easier to add up at the end. So for pizza, we've got two bunches of five. So that's five plus five, which is 10. Chicken is five, six, seven, eight. And vegetable lasagna, five, 10, 11, 12, 13. So going back to the previous example of the asking your students in a class uh, what they want to eat. Imagine we had a completed tally chart, something along these lines. What we would do now is we would add a frequency column and in the frequency column we just add up the tally mark so 5 plus 5 plus 3 5 10 11 12 13 so that means 13 children chose pizza 5 6 7 8 9 chose chicken and chips and vegetable lasagna 5 10 15 16 17 and again the total of the frequency should be the number of children you asked, um, assuming that they all gave you a response. So here we could work out the total number of children um, that made a lunch option it would be 17 plus 13, which is 30 plus nine. So the total number of children is 39. So one key feature of a, t uh, a, a tally chart is having this frequency column so that we can just translate the tally marks into more easy to deal with numbers.